Early on Wednesday, minutes after 4 a.m., neighbors of the L.B. Scott Road were awakened by a horrific traffic accident. Curtis Heiliger, 21 years old, drove straight into the wall onto a house on the corner of the dollar store on the L.B. Scott Road. After being stuck in his car for two hours, he succumbed to his wounds inflicted during the accident. Curtis is the son of Member of Parliament and leader of the United People's Party, Theo Heiliger. The police traffic department is still gathering information about the accident. The wife of the parliamentarian, Krisha Heiliger, was on the scene where she was asking questions about the accident early on Wednesday morning. Onlookers of the accident gave St. Martin Newsroom more information about the accident. Well, he come from Park St. Peter's and some wake us up, but when we turn, when we come down the road, they say he fly inside there, but no brakes line, nothing was on the road. But then so you say he was under speed. He was under high speed this morning. From a long up the He wake me up my bed, you know. From a straight down. From my come down the road. Straight in, yeah. He come down the road. You say he fly straight in. When he fly in, it's like he hit, he hit a truck and the jeep up the road. All right. Um, when you went there, you saw uh, you saw him inside. Still? Yeah, he was. Now, nah, now when I went there, but one of the panel by Star Max say he put gas in the in the vehicle like he had somebody with him. And he went Saint Peter. And he come from Saint Peter and he went coming back down. That's when he hit. But the fellows was in Star Max with him say he was inside there begging for help, like help, 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 help. But Squeeze he was Imagine the man bawling for help instead of try get the man out of the vehicle. So they're, they're trying to run us out of the yard. Oh, you get out of the yard, get out of the yard, get out of the yard. The man, the man bawling for help. At least help the man. Start worrying about the people outside there. Worrying about uh, um, oh, I get out of the yard. Try help the man. The man in good condition. I find that the the fire department in no worry. They, they kill that man. They take too long. They take too, too long. An hour and a half or more, or two hours he was in that car now. Now, from since it happened, we were there. Then you're waiting for the, the, the fire department, fire didn't department. come here? It take a while for them to come. A while for them to come. They want to say fire department, then they want people to vote for them. Come on, man. The government ain't doing nothing. The police department is still putting all relevant information about the accident together. Stay with St. Martin Newsroom as we continue to follow this developing story. Andrew Dick reporting for St. Martin Newsroom.